Okay, beautiful people, I'm gonna document uh, my super salve and my wound care. Right now, I had second to third degree burns on my hand from work, and I'm due to go see another doctor here soon, but um, you can see all the new skin that has popped up. It had blistered, it had just bubbled up and peeled completely off all of this. This right here is a spot that must have been burned extra bad. That must be the third degree area because it just refuses to heal. I'm on Bactrim, which is an antibiotic, to help that heal. And it's starting to itch and some of this old brown skin starting to, you know, come off in big chunks. But that, it start, the pain is less. Um, but I, I do firmly believe that with the use of the Super Salve, you can see it wrapped around to the inside. So when I grabbed the pot of um, the tea thing clogged up, it was a defective tea thing. As I pulled it out, um, all the boiling hot tea that was supposed to be straining went all over my hand. And up to here, up to here, and wrapped around in there. So anyway, that that's what it looks like. This is day 10. And I thoroughly, I did get treated at the hospital. They gave me some wet to dry bandages to put on there for a few days. And then their recommendation was, you know, don't let it get any sunlight. So that's why I keep it bandaged here. But they didn't give me any more cream, silver, or anything like that to, um, to, to help it heal. So that's why I'm using the Super Salve. And if I had had access to the Super Salve when it happened, it would not have been this bad. Um, I did a video last night about drawing fire. I did do that. And I think had I not drawn fire off of these major areas, that they wouldn't have burned as bad. Uh, but Appalachia Folk Medicine, you say a prayer. Angels of the North, Angels of the South, give me the power to, to draw fire out. You suck in you blow away. And um, I actually did that on one of my children's burns before. And I did that on my father who had thrush in the hospital. That's how it came to mind when I didn't have anything handy. A girl at work did grab some, um, some kind of burn care pain thing and spray my hand real quick. But um, I didn't have access to my super salve. Had I had access, I've never seen anyone use my super salve that's been sold all over the country um, and catalogs, boutiques, and whatnot. I've never seen, personally, anyone who has been burned use it instantly and it leave a scar or so much as bubble, maybe it's had. So I didn't, I didn't have access to it. I was at work. But I do believe it's helping. The doctor said it would scar. And I kind of think that the only scarring area is going to be right through here where that first hit of boiling water, you know, if you're holding your hand like this, it probably stayed like a little reservoir. So I think that's going to be the only scarring. And if I keep it covered with the salve and the bandage, probably won't. I'm hoping it doesn't. Um, but that's what I think where the third degree burns are and where he said it would scar. He wasn't specific. So anyway, that's what I'm doing for my wound care day 10. And uh, even the lawyer that saw it said it looked much better than what he has seen, in befo seen before with um, second and third degree burns. So uh, he thought whatever I was doing was working. <laughs> so I really do believe that um, here soon, I'll be able to take the bandages off completely, but you can't let, the problem I was having is that all this pink new skin, all that, was bubbling up and sizzling anytime I got it, like, I, I was trying to leave it open, and that's when all the pain was really hitting me, um, last week, but it, I didn't know that you shouldn't have it out in the sunlight, because I, I knew the new recommendations were open wound care, you know, free of bandaging. But he said not with burns, not with new skin. So 
um, got some doctor advice and everything and keeping it protected, keeping it covered and clean. And let's pray for no scarring. So if he rec he said it would scar and it doesn't um, due to the super salve, you know, that's just a, a good selling point. This is the best healing herbal salve on the market. And like I said, I wish I'd had it at my disposal when this first happened. But the kit is now available with the recipe if you want to try to make it home yourself. Or I have it for sale on my website. And praying that uh, this is completely healed up soon. Y'all have a blessed day.